it's Kristen. Welcome to Warrior Within. This vinyasa style flow class is all about just channeling that inner warrior that resides in all of us, that strong, capable, can-do um, aspect of who we are, but at the same time, it's flexible, it's soft, it's steady, it goes with the flow. So in order to do that, we are going to be practicing a variety of different warrior poses. We'll hit warrior one, warrior two, peaceful warrior, warrior three, and maybe just explore with a few different variations of some of those as well. So to get started, we're gonna come into an extended child's pose just to give ourselves a chance to settle, to connect with the breath. So melt your hips back towards your heels and allow your forehead to rest down to the floor. And then relaxing through your shoulders, take a deep breath in through your nose and a deep breath out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. One more like that, deep breath in, deep breath out. And then gently seal your lips together. Continue breathing in and out through your nose and start to rock your way up onto your hands and knees into a tabletop. Right away, I want you to tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back, making your way to downward facing dog. Now, this might be your first down dog of the day or even in quite a while. Maybe it's your first down dog of your life. Take whatever you need here as far as movement goes. You can pedal out your feet, rock your head out, find any other shapes that feel good for you. And then allow yourself to just hold here for a moment. Make sure all your fingers are spreading wide. Really press the ground away and lift up nice and high through your hip points. Good, and then I want you to press your heels down towards the earth. And on your next inhale, ripple your body forward into a high plank pose. Shoulders come over your wrists. You may need to walk your feet back just a little bit. And then with your exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. So just linking our breath with our movement, inhaling to come forward, find that nice strong high plank, keep some softness in your elbows, and then exhale downward facing. One more like this, inhaling high plank pose, and then exhaling downward facing dog. From here, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, and then step up to the top of your mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Relax your head, let it go. Maybe find a little sway side to side. You can bend into one knee and straighten out the opposite leg here, going on each side. Again, just like we did in our down dog, just something that feels good in your body. Good, and then coming back to that forward fold, finding stillness, drop your head completely, let it go. And then take a breath in to slide your hands up to your shins, reaching your chest forward and your tailbone back. Halfway lift, shoulders draw back away from your ears, belly pulls in. Good, exhale, fold back down, Uttanasana. Do that again, halfway lift with your in breath, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, fold. This time, I want you to come all the way up. Press down into your feet, rise up, sweep your arms overhead. And then as you exhale, release your arms down by your side. Samasiti he. Maybe closing down your eyes here and just take a moment to get really grounded. You might rock kind of front to back on your feet or side to side. Feeling those points that connect to the earth, and then starting to find your center, and I want you to really send your roots deep here. So part of our strong warrior poses is having a strong foundation to build on, right? Just like a house is only as strong as, it found, as its foundation, same with our yoga poses. 
So get really strong, really rooted, and then take a breath in, reach your arms back up overhead, and as you exhale, fold back down over your legs. Now take an inhale here, find that halfway lift, and then exhale, fold, plant your hands, step your feet back, come back to your plank pose, breathe in, and then lift your hips, downward facing dog. Good. Now on your next inhale, send your right leg up to the sky. And as you breathe out, you're going to step your right foot between your hands. Turn your left heel down and in, pressing down into the outer edge of your left foot. And then rise up. Virabhadrasana 1, warrior 1. Arms come up overhead. You're bending deep into that right knee. You're anchoring down into the outer edge of your back foot. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Take a breath in. And then exhale your hands back down to the ground. Lift your left heel. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Downward facing dog. So we'll find that same pose on the other side. Inhaling your left leg to the sky. And then exhale, big step through. Set your right heel down and in, turning your toes out to a 45 degree angle here, and then rise up, warrior one. So pressing down into the outer edge of your right foot, this time bending into that left leg, drawing your right hip forward, left hip back. Work to square your shoulders towards the front of your mat. Take a breath in here, and then exhale, lift your right heel, hands come down, step it back, downward facing dog. So we're going to try that again, and this time add on some movement. So inhale your right leg to the sky, and then exhale, step it through. Warrior one, left heel comes down and in. Inhale, rise up. Now this time I want you to straighten your right leg. And then as you exhale, re-bend into your knee and cactus your arms. That's it. Do that again. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, bend. So let's do this three more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale, bend. That's it. Last two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Inhale. And then exhale. Now from here, interlace your fingers behind your back. I want you to keep the bend in the front knee. Drive your knuckles down towards the mat. Here's one we didn't mention at the beginning of class. Humble warrior. So start to fold forward, keeping that bind. Bringing your chest to the inside of the right thigh. You can keep your gaze forward slightly or drop your head and just let it go. Let it hang. Release any tension through your neck. Stay nice and low in your right leg. Keep pulling your left hip forward. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Nice. Now from here, rise back up. Breathing and reach up. Find that warrior one and then exhale, downward facing dog. Stepping the right foot back to meet the left. Awesome job. Switching sides. The left leg goes high. Step it through right into your warrior one. Inhaling as you rise up. Now this time I want you to straighten your left leg. And just like we did on the other side, as you exhale, re-bend your knee, cactus your arms. Sinking down into your hips. We have four more rounds just like that. Inhale to lift up. And then exhale, sink down. Last three, breathe in. Breathe out. So just moving with your breath. Last two. Good. Last one, breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, sink it down. Now keep the legs, interlace your fingers again behind your back. Breathe in to open your heart and then breathe out, humble warrior. Sinking your chest down to the inside of your left thigh this time. And again, you can fix your gaze or drop your head, let it go. Maybe fixing your gaze behind you. Opening up through the fronts of the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, deep breath in. 
Deep breath out. One more time, fill up. And then exhale it out with your next in breath, coming all the way back up, warrior one, reach up. Exhale your hands down to the earth, step it on back, downward facing dog. I don't know about you, but I'm working up a little bit of a sweat over here. <laughs> so we're gonna keep building on that. So take a moment here in your down dog, just to reset. If you need a break, you can always drop back into that child's pose for a few breaths. If your body's still craving some movement here, you can move around. There's no right or wrong, no rules. Good, meeting back in that downward facing dog. And here we go, moving on. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Warrior one, right away as you breathe in, straighten your right leg. And then exhale, cactus your arms, sink down into your right knee. Let's do just two more this time. Inhale, rise and lift, reach, and then exhale. Good, one more time like this. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, keep the legs, interlace the fingers. As you breathe in, open your heart. And as you breathe out, humble warrior, for three rounds of breath here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more, that's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then come all the way back up. This time I'm adding on, I want you to straighten your right leg again. And as you exhale, fold forward over your right thigh. Keeping that back foot off to a 45, flat to the ground. Left hip keeps drawing forward, right hip keeps pressing back. Working to find length through your spine here as you breathe in. And then finding depth as you breathe out. A couple more like that. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out, and then sink back into your right leg. As you breathe in, reach your arms up overhead, warrior one. And now as you exhale, we'll turn and open it up to warrior two. And so you can always reposition your feet here on your mat if you need to. For this one, thinking about standing on a tightrope, right? So we're tracking the right heel in line with the arch of the left foot. Arms spread out nice and long, reaching in opposite directions here through the fingertips. Shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Soft gaze just beyond the middle right fingertip. Now take a breath in. Take a breath out, maybe sink a little deeper into your right leg and I want you to keep that depth as you flip your right palm. Inhale to reach back with your right arm, reverse warrior, finding that nice side body stretch. And then exhale, warrior two. Do that two more times. Inhale, reach back, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale, reach back, reverse. This time coming through warrior two and then bringing those hands all the way down to the ground, stepping it back to your downward facing dog. Now from here, lift your left leg up to the sky. Step it through warrior one. Get to do all that again on side two. Rising up as you breathe in, reach up, straighten your left leg. And then as you breathe out, sink down into your hips, cactus your arms for three. So inhale, this is number two, exhale, sink down into it. One more right here, move with your breath, inhale to reach up. Exhale, sink into it, and then keep the legs, interlace the fingers, breathe in, and humble forward. Here for three rounds of breath, that's it, inhale. Exhale, good, breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. 
and then bring it back up. Arms go up, left leg straight. This time as you exhale, keep drawing your right hip forward and fold over your left thigh. Good, with each in breath, finding a little more length, a little more space. And then with each out breath, let it go. Three more breaths here, inhaling to fill up. And exhale, empty. Good, two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, keep that breath moving, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful yogis. Now, bend back into your left knee. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Reposition your feet if you need to here. Finding that heel to arch alignment, sinking down deep into your left leg. Shoulders down away from your ears, reaching in opposite directions. Lengthening up through the crown, looking over the left fingertips. Sink a little bit deeper, and then flip your left palm. With your inhale, reach back, reverse. Bringing it right back to warrior two with the breath out. Good. Do that two more times. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, warrior two. One more, breathe in. Breathe out, coming through warrior two, and then hands pivot all the way down. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Downward facing dog. Amazing, amazing work. I want you to lift your heels, bend your knees, and then walk your hands and feet in towards each other so that you're standing in a full, kind of at the middle of your mat or so. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hang here for just a moment. Get your breath back. Let the heart rate come down if it's elevated. And give it one more breath. And then really slowly, as you press down into your feet, start to rise up, letting your spine round here. So you're coming up one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, and then inhale, reach your arms overhead. Coming into warrior three, option to keep your arms here as we move into it. You may choose to bring your hands into your heart at any point. We're gonna start by balancing on the right foot and start to kick the left leg straight back behind you. As you do that, you're hinging forward, working to bring your torso parallel with the floor beneath you. Keep your hips level to the floor as well. Here's where you might bring hands to your heart. You decide. Point the left pinky toe down towards the ground. Hollow out your belly. Lift your belly button up and into your spine. Keep reaching forward through the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly come back up and release. Nice job. Inhale to reach your arms back up overhead. Maybe start with the arms here. We're just switching sides, balancing on that left leg. Right leg starts to kick back as you hinge forward. Keep some softness in your left knee here. Good, option to bring hands to heart. Point your right pinky toe down towards the mat. Square off your hips. Reach the crown of your head forward. Draw your shoulders back. Pull your low belly up and in. So much to think about. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, come all the way back up and release. Awesome job. I'm feeling a little bit stronger after working through all those poses. I hope you are too. We're going to start to soften just a bit, slow it down, find a little cool down as we come to the end of our practice. So go ahead and step up to the top of your mat. I want you to reach your arms up overhead. Breathe in. And then exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step back to your downward facing. And then come forward into that plank pose and go ahead and lower yourself all the way down onto your belly, flipping over onto your back. So those warrior poses ask a lot out of our hips. Great strengtheners and stretchers, but now we're just gonna find some gentle hip opening stretches. I want you to take your right 
ankle on top of your left thigh for reclined pigeon. And that may be plenty if you want a little more hug your left leg into your chest. Hold here and breathe for three. For two. One. And then set your left foot back down. Extend your right leg straight up to the sky. Interlace your fingers behind your thigh or calf and gently draw back on your right leg. Maybe pointing and flexing your foot here a few times. Circling it out, whatever feels good. And then I want you to take your left leg nice and long down the mat. Bend your right knee and draw your right leg across the midline of your body for a spinal twist. Option to take your gaze over your right shoulder. And release, nice job, come flat to your back. Bring that right foot flat to the ground. Take your left ankle on top of your right thigh for figure four stretch. Option to hug your right leg into your chest. Holding here and breathing for three. Two and one. Sweet, and then take your right foot down to the ground. Extend your left leg straight to the sky. Interlace your fingers behind the thigh or calf. Gently drawing back on your left leg to deepen that stretch. Pointing and flexing your foot, maybe circling it around, rotating your ankle. Find something that feels good here. Perfect, yogis, and then extend your right leg long, bend your left knee, and start to guide it across your body to the opposite direction for your supine twist. Gazing over your left shoulder. And then come back to center, and we'll move into our final pose, Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Letting your knees splay out to the sides, and I invite you to take your right hand over your heart, your left hand over your belly. And as we start to wind down our practice, just taking a few final breaths to really notice the movement and the flow within. Feeling your strong heartbeat. Feeling your strong breath. Tapping into that internal power. Feeling the warrior within. And we'll take three cleansing breaths, just like we started in through the nose and out through the mouth to finish. So go ahead and fill up. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then open your mouth, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, yogis. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let it go. And have a beautiful, powerful, strong rest of your day. Know that the light and the love in me sees and honors the light and the love in you. Namaste.